the first Honda Jet. On a cold December morning at the end of 2003, the first Honda Jet, built specifically to prove Honda's unique design, lifted into the air for the first time. Now Honda celebrates 20 years since that milestone first flight. And today, well, where is the first Honda Jet? All right, so for some context, through the 80s and the 90s, Honda conducted a research program in an effort to design a novel aircraft with superior flight efficiencies. After years of computer simulation and wind tunnel testing, the program had enough data to prove their design with a real aircraft. And Honda still has a few associates here at the company who worked on the first Honda Jet over 20 years ago, like David Kublau, technical expert and group lead, and Kazahisa Mahiko, technical fellow and senior manager of flight sciences. These guys were part of a small team that would build and test the first aircraft in preparation for its first flight. The project uh, moved from uh, Japan to the United States. So most of Japanese associates moved to the United States to actually fabricate and assemble the aircraft. The very first Honda aircraft was a proof of concept. The mission primarily was to take what Honda had put together in their earlier phases of their design program and get it flying. We have to fly to demonstrate our aircraft actually perform per our design. We had long days, long nights. We worked weekends to build aircraft and then we had to do a lot of testing, engine runs, system testing that we had to do in order to get the aircraft to a point where it's ready for flight. Workload was extremely high. So from the 8 a.m. until sometime 10, 11, sometime midnight. Right? However, everybody working together, yeah, even very long duration time. The first flight is 2003. So it means two years from the assembly to actual first flight. The weather that morning was cold. It was very cold. Brisk, dry morning, but ideal for flight. Then we are uh, checking the weather first because first flight should be done based on the very safe environment. I raced over to the aircraft, turned everything back on, make sure everything was working before we went into the briefing with the pilots. So after briefing, as we moved out to the hangar, pulled the aircraft out, the heartbeat started to go up. The excitement for first flight, well, Stress. <laughs> it's very stressful. I was, I was very nervous. Of course, I confirmed aircraft characteristics safe based on the ground testing. We uh, performed a lot of analysis. So I'm confident, I was confident. However, first flight is first experience for me. So that is why I was very nervous. Yeah. up on the roof on the weather station. So we, I think there was probably about 15 of us up there. We had radios in hand. We were monitoring the pilots, constantly listening in to what was going on. As the aircraft rolled down the runway, nobody said a word. <laughs> the moment the wheels took off. Everybody was cheering. Everybody was high-fiving, cheering. It was a great moment. All I kept saying is, keep going, keep going, you know, keep going, get higher and higher. Once 
once I confirm aircraft is fly, I could not afford to have a joy because aircraft just start flying. We have to gather the all information like aircraft state, angle of attack or airspeed, then aircraft send these information to the equipment. Then we receive this information to monitor on the ground. The other part is kind of stressful is landing. So <laughs> make sure we want to make sure that it lands properly too. Once landed, I still could not afford to joy of the first flight. Then once pilot get out, tear of joy. We had people lined up along the side of the hangar. Everybody around was cheering. Both pilots and then also followed by Mr. Fujin as well, hoisted up in the air, you know, the usual. <laughs> so it's that's a kind of Japanese custom. So when we celebrate something, we, what should I say, toss the body into the air or something like that. That was a pretty amazing time. I couldn't think I can cry by work. Work is always stressful. We achieve the first flight based on our hard work. I cannot control my emotion, <laughs> so I just cry. Yeah. Following its first flight, the proof of concept, or simply POC as it was known around the company, would go on to log hundreds of test flights. In 2005, POC traveled to EAA Air Venture to be the face of the HondaJet public debut. And the first HondaJet would remain in the limelight for years as Honda's sole demonstration and marketing aircraft. On the back of POC, the last 20 years would see the development of three structural test airplanes, airframes that were specifically built to be pushed and pulled and pressurized, simulating hundreds of thousands of flight hours. Four flight test aircraft were built that would facilitate over 10,000 test conditions, like stalls, flutter, wet runways, hot weather, cold weather, logging thousands of real world flight hours. In 2015, Honda received from the FAA type certification on the Honda Jet. That's a really big deal. Proving the safe and efficient design was ready to be delivered to customers. Now with over 200 Honda Jets in service all around the world, we look around and ask, where did the first one end up? POC sat around for a few years, watching the company build up around it and hundreds of Honda Jets leave these grounds. Still, the first Honda Jet, the proof of concept, has a place in this world and is a significant piece of aviation history to be celebrated. So, towards the end of 2021, the process of moving POC to a new home was begun. The engines removed and placed in crates, the wings and fuselage separated and lowered into shipping containers for transport. Built in the US, but an undeniable part of the first Honda Jet's heritage is rooted in Japan. And that's where POC was headed. Offloaded on the shores of its new home, where apparently the port cranes play itsy bitsy spider as they move about. That's fun. POC's long journey comes to an end, arriving in pieces to be reassembled by a team led by a familiar face, Kazutoshi Oi, who was an integral part of the original team building POC in the beginning, assembling the aircraft one last time. The first Honda Jet, 
an experimental aircraft, a test article, and demonstration of what an aircraft built by Honda would one day become. Now proudly on display at the Misawa Aviation and Science Museum in Japan. Celebrated not just as a piece of Honda's history and the company's passionate pursuit of mobility, but notably for its significant role in proving innovation and novel designs contributed to aviation. Here we are. Can you believe it's been 20 years since that day we just talked about? No, it's 20 years, wow. I cannot believe 20 years. We've come a long way. We've done a lot in 20 years. So what project are you currently working on? So I'm actually working on Honda Jet Echelon, new project. The project I'm currently working on is the Honda Jet Echelon. Honda Jet Echelon is the first aircraft in this category, which can fly from the east coast to west coast without refuel. So we now go to transcontinental. Also a longer fuselage, the total passenger is 11 people. Since its inception, Honda has dreamt of extending its mobility expertise to aviation. The proof of concept aircraft transformed that aspiration into a reality. And each successive model of the Honda Jet has continued to elevate light jet travel. What started as an experimental project has become a fully-fledged light jet program that continues to challenge convention. And the dreaming hasn't stopped. Our next dream, the Honda Jet Echelon, pairs unheard of efficiency with transcontinental capability. And we can't wait to one day be celebrating another first flight. <laughs>